What's going on guys? John Elder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make conditional selections with pandas in Python. All right guys, like I said in this video, I'm going to show you how to make conditional selections for your data frames in pandas. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off memberships, all my courses, videos, and books for one small fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're going to make conditional selections, select specific things out of our data frame with pandas. So I'm starting out, I've got a file, I'm just calling it conditional selection. As always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this pandas series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So we've got our basic starter code here, we're just importing pandas and numpy. And then we're pulling in our dog data CSV file that we've been working on in the last few videos. And you'll notice I'm pulling in the entire thing this time. So we've got almost 3000 records here. So now let's say we want to return only the dogs that are brown, let's say. How could we do that? Well, there's a couple of ways to do this. And we do this using all the conditional operators that come with Python. So greater than, less than, equal to, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, equal to, not equal to, all of those conditional operators in Python, we can use to make choices to make conditional selections in our data frame here. So we can just start out very basically just returning booleans, true or false. It's going to return, hey, is this true that the color is brown, right? So to do that, we just call our data frame, call my underscore df, and we can just set this equal to a color, brown. Now notice I'm using all capitals because up here, brown, all of these colors are all capitals. So this is case sensitive, keep that in mind. So you also notice double equal to signs in Python, double equal to means conditional single equal to signs means we're assigning Brown to our data frame. We don't want to assign it. We want to check a condition. So that's double equal to, and we shift enter to run this. And you see, we just get a data frame with a bunch of booleans, a bunch of true falses. So here's our color. The zeroth record is true. We can come up here. Hey, it's true. This is Brown. The rest of these are not all the way down to the 2665th record. And we can see, yep, 2665th right here, sure enough, true. So, okay, that's kind of interesting, but instead let's return the actual data. We wanna see whether these are the colors or not instead of having these booleans. So we could do that by just passing this into our data frame. So let's come down here and it's called my underscore DF and we use our square brackets and then just paste that entire thing in. My underscore DF equals equals brown. And when we do that, it returns a data frame with the actual data you see brown. All these other ones are NAN, not a number, null, basically. It's saying, hey, no, these all th these things are not all brown, this one is. So, okay, that's kind of interesting, but let's say we don't want all this other information, we just want this color column. Just return the color column and nothing else. How do we do that? Well, we could do that, same thing, we call my underscore DF, and we want to pass in, into square brackets, our same sort of condition here, but then we also want another set of square brackets and just name the column that you want. So we want the color column. So now it returns this series of just the color column. Now we've got a bunch of stuff here, you know, almost 3000 rows. So it's, you know, you get these dots. If your thing was a little smaller, it would show all of it on here. So that's cool. But now what if we want to return multiple columns? Well, we could do that. Let's come down here, we've pasted in this whole thing. Now, instead of just returning one, we can wrap this whole thing in another set of square brackets. And inside of here, we could just pass in our other columns. So if we want breed, we can get now color and breed. Now this isn't very interesting, right? Because these are all null because none of these have a breed named brown. So they're all gonna have null values here. So this is much more interesting if you're returning numbers in our data. So up here, these are all strings for the most part, right? This is a number kind of, but a zip code isn't really a number. It's more of a descriptive thing. You're not going to do math on a zip code, right? But imagine we had a data set that was just lots and lots of numbers. Well, if we did that down here and we pulled two different columns, you know, we're not going to be calling equal, equal brown. We're going to be like greater than, you know, 159 or something like that. So this will return numbers that are likely going to be actual data here in both of these columns. Like I said, our data doesn't really show that because we don't have a lot of numbers in our data, but if you did, this would be a lot more interesting. So just sort of keep that in mind. So that's how to do conditional selection on your data frames with pandas, super easy. Just remember you can use all of your Python conditional statements, greater than, less than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, equal to, not equal to, you know, uh, not equal to is usually uh, the exclamation point and the equal to sign together. 
Uh, so you can use that as well. All your conditional operators you can use and super easy. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube 50 to get 50% off membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com and I'll see you in the next video.